Also, for those that are, you know, that I've been working recently, I am now officially done working. So now I can fully stream as much as I want to now. I am so happy. So I get to stream a whole bunch for you guys. I'll be streaming this and also horror games. That's what my main focus was, was horror games. But I ran out of horror games to play. But I guess I'll start replaying those as well. So if you guys have any horror games in mind, I am also starting to play uh pc games as well um if you guys have any horror games in mind that you want to watch me play then let me know message me you could tweet me facebook tumblr doesn't matter anything you prefer Or not just horror games, but you could, if you guys want to watch me play any game that I might have, or you might want me to, might want to watch me play, just, yeah, let me know. And if I have the game, and if I have access that I could get to it, if I have access to get the game, then yeah, I would try to play it for you guys. Because I play all kinds of games, so don't hold back. I love sports games, I love horror games, as I just mentioned. Dragon Age. Skyrim. I love all kinds of games, so yeah. You're back. And in one piece. And I got your notes for you. Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. Well, bam. The old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Farewell. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Increase magic by thirty first. Let's see if there's anything else to talk to Solus about. Hello. I'd like to know more about you, Solus. Why? You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help the Inquisition. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate what <laughs> you're doing, Solus. I just wanted to know more about you. I'm sorry. With so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? What made you start studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little to interest the young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. I treasured my dreams. Being awake out of the Fade became troublesome. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. So That's cool though. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I traveled, I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imagination. To find interesting areas, one must be interested. Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You train to flick a dagger or an arrow to its target. The grace with which you move is a pleasing side benefit. 
You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. So you're suggesting I'm graceful? No. I am declaring it. It was not a subject for debate. Mm -hmm. Ho ho ho! <laughs> you said you've traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the Fae. Dream in ancient ruins, and you may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers. The best were the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. You're saying that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons for me. Meaning? The fade reflects the mind of the living. If you expect a spirit mm. of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. Well, that's cool. I'm impressed that you could become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few ever try. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form, as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her face? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit. You have an interesting way of looking at the world, Solus. I try. And that isn't quite an answer. I look forward to helping you make new friends. That should be... Well... That isn't quite an answer either. <laughs> we'll talk later. Goodbye. Okay, so I think that is all. Go here and see if we got anything to help them out. I should know. I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. Oh wait, there's one thing I wanted to ask her. Oh, they're not saying it. You seem to know a great many people. I didn't ask her last time, but it's not showing it now. It's unavoidable. You have a history with the warden who ended the blight, don't you? I had the privilege of calling her friend before she died. The world seemed much duller after that. It still does. You seem to know Josephine quite well. I met her a long time ago. But we didn't become good friends until years later. After the blight, in fact. I'd just returned to Val Rayo, and she welcomed me back by throwing a diplomatic ball. She was the Antivan ambassador at the time, you see. The ball was... Too many politicians. At midnight, Josie and I left to find a real party. We've been friends ever since. <laughs> what do you consider a real party? It's not a real party until someone's small clothes are pinned to a chantry board. And that's all I'm saying about it. <laughs> we can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. I got only 30 more minutes. So we're gonna try to go and get a lot done at the next place. Now that we finally finished exploring, that is.
There's a lot of exploring in the next place as well. But there's a lot more stuff to fight too. Alright, so we're going for Elden. And we are going here. The hinterlands. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. Alright. <clears throat> Party selection is all of them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, Atomic. Atomics K, my bad. <laughs> Herald of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but... You'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us <laughs> here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. Yeah, just, just hush, dude. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your <laughs> We should get to business. I have a feeling I know what he was about to say. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up. <laughs> and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest oh yeah, I gotta go talk to her. Too. Oh no, I only got 20 minutes left. Can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. All right, I'm gonna try to hurry up and get down there and get a lot done before I have to get off. This is a camp. Put potions. Change party. Back to request. Yeah, that's that. Rest. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Let's go down here. Up new, sir. Report. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Clear threats at the crossroad. To report, sir. Okay. Else, I missed the other part that she said. Damn. Watch your step. Oops! Snap. Mhm. Mm Mother Giselle cannot be far. All these dead bodies, Templars. Crazy mages, I mean, playing so many other games with so many which different which names and stuff. Looks like they could use a hand. There is more this way. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. 
Doesn't look like they're listening. 